Pinellas County is on the west central coast of Florida. We are the most densely populated county in Florida. We have one million residents. Within 276 square miles, we have 24 individual cities that we work with on a day-to-day -day basis. We have about 35 miles of coastline. We're also unique because we are a peninsula within a peninsula. And so we are affected by things like sea level rise and global climate change more than many other communities. We're surrounded almost completely by open water, Tampa Bay, Intercoastal Waterway, as well as the Gulf of Mexico. And you add that subtropical climate to all the water and all the development, and you have a flood problem. A state of emergency today as Tropical Storm Colin hit the panhandle hard, dumping over seven inches of rain in Pinellas County. During Tropical Storm Colin in 2016, we worked with our GIS team to develop a viewer. And the viewer basically um, mapped all of our work requests that came in during the storm. And it just gave us a better situation awareness. So we basically developed it on the fly and tweaked it during the storm. And then we prepped for doing the exact same thing before Hurricane Hermine hit. During Hurricane Hermine, we were using the map apps to update the information that we were receiving. We were updating the road closures. We could see where our trucks were. Trees down were marked with a different symbology so that everybody using the map apps could see what was going on. We could dispatch crews to locations that were next to our emergency response teams addressing another call. We knew exactly where everything was. We've really kind of leveraged ArcGIS Collector for field data operations. The one in particular that I think has been probably the most successful is our sign inventory. We started using Collector app to collect all the signs within Pinellas County. With the application, our staff is carrying around an iPad and they go up to a sign, they take a photo of the front and the back and attach it to the point where the sign is and move on to the next sign. So this has really helped our county know what we have out there and what we need to have supplies for in case of a natural disaster. We look at a holistic view of GIS, not just a view at each, each individual agency or constitutional. It enables us to look at Enterprise GIS from a futuristic point of view of where, as a smart county, we want to go. Web GIS, I think, is the next logical extension of making accessibility um, the standard for uh, all of our citizens, whether they're using a mobile device, uh, a desktop, or any flavor of browser, they need to be able to get to that information. And the Esri tools, along with our web access and mobile access, really make that possible. Everybody can just go to our wealth of information on the flood information website, including links to all these map applications. You just type your address in and it takes you right to the lot and it shows you what flood zone you're in. Is there an elevation certificate? Are there wetlands on my property? A big component of floodplain management in the county is our community rating system. The community rating system is put out under the National Flood Insurance Program and it rewards communities with flood insurance premium discounts based on how far above and beyond you are going than the federal requirements. And one of the major components of that is outreach and education. And these map applications are a very good way to relay that flood hazard message to your constituents. We're now saving over $5.2 million a year across unincorporated Pinellas County in flood insurance premiums. So all our residents, businesses, any county buildings, anybody that's in the floodplain is getting the biggest discount that you can get on an insurance premium. The next three years I see as kind of a renaissance for enterprise GIS in the county where we're not doing the things that we have to do in order to kind of build the foundation for enterprise GIS. Um, we're going to be doing the things that the businesses want us to do. Whether it's knowing uh, where your infrastructure is throughout the county and making better planning decisions based on that, or being able to analyze socio-demographic uh, trends and making strategic investments to lift everyone in the community, that is going to pay back for generations.